<laughs> I just, I, um, funerals. I, I almost did a video. I started recording a video on why the gap between the rich and the poor is going to be outrageous in the future. But then, uh, yeah, I, I realized there's no way I can even make it like a 10 minute video. And then I was just like, hey, let's just maybe I'll turn it into a, a, a webinar instead because I try, and I try to compress it and it's, it's just, no, it's not going to work. So I'm going to instead answer a question or a request that was made by someone. Thank you, Mbali G, I think. I'm trying to remember the username, but it's in Bali. I think it's in Bali G or something. But thank you. If it's wrong, I apologize. The question or request was basically, can you basically expand more on funeral covers and what you should be looking at for, I think, or whether you need one or not. So let's see if we can do two videos on that instead. So let's see if we can, again, as I said, try and split that into two videos. So I don't know what to start with. So let's, <coughs> let's start with when or whether you actually need a funeral cover. Who needs a funeral cover? I think we should start off there and then try to figure out which funeral cover you need because there's different types of funeral covers. So let's begin. So first, who needs a funeral cover? Again, summary, because a webinar would need details, but summary, almost everyone. It's, it's it's one of those things that you really don't, don't want to do and it's annoying, but it's a must um, because of how it's structured and how life is. So basically, if you're average or even if you're just above average, you probably need a funeral cover. Um, so that just sets that out quick. Right, number two, if you want details as to why, then comment below. <laughs> why do we need funeral covers i think it's obvious but we can expand on that so you can comment below why do we need funeral covers and i can do a video just on that so let's move on to next <coughs> what let's first look at what types what types of funeral covers you have then what do you need so the types of funeral covers you have are divided into two basic ones they probably expand a bit more with benefits but two basic ones Benefits in cash. <coughs> so, one on the benefits looks at us providing you with certain benefits. We will provide you with a tube We will provide you with a bus, a tent, catering, um, a casket, etc., 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 etc. We will provide you these things, right? So, basically, you call them up and be like, hey, yo, um, you know, this has happened. And then they kind of put plans into place and it kind of, it's, it, it makes life easier because you don't have to run around. It's all centralized. You don't have to run around trying to sort the stuff out um, and so on, you know. Um, <coughs> so that that kind of helps. So that's, that's where the benefit one comes in. Then you've got the cash. Now, the upside of the cash is that in benefits, you can be short, right? In benefits, you could be short of food, drinks, more people could come up, whatever, right? Things things happen. And unfortunately, especially in, in our events, ceremonies, you need money even up until that day. Because things just come up and you're just like, well, we need cash for one, two, and three. So the 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 cash benefits are useful because you kind of supplements for the funeral and then it just kind of works out, right? So what some people do um, and, and they try to recommend this is you have both. You have the benefits so that you know the benefits are covered and then you have the cash. Now, is that a good idea? Again, it kind of depends, right? Each person's individual circumstance is different. In some other cases, someone says, this package is fine. In some other instances, they say package plus cash. In other instances, someone says, instead of getting package plus cash, I'll just get a bigger package. So how do you figure out which one you need? It depends. 
remember we're individuals right so we live we've got different family sizes we've got different communities we've got different um expectations of funerals some people will say something like yo just like some people are simple like i'm just like the type of person who's just like guys i don't need a fancy casket just throw me in like a basic casket and i'm good right um and other people say things like i want like the top of the range caskets we're gonna have two different covers in my case i just like yo if people have some kind of food it's okay right you're here for me to kind of mourn not to 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 not to get excited over the food someone else says i want a dignified funeral so we're gonna have two very different covers <coughs> so what that basically means is you need to figure out which cover works and maybe in the next video i'll look at certain tips to kind of go what do you look into what can you look into to try and figure out maybe which cover suits you to avoid getting a cover that doesn't suit you either that that undercuts and then you're short and you're you're unhappy or it's over the top and you're paying a lot of money in the long term that could be used in another way next video coming up just